in the spirit. Right. Huh? Uh huh? He was seen of angels. Uh -huh. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Angels of spirit. Uh -huh. The only one who can see a spirit is a spirit. That's right. <laughs> huh? Yes, he was seen of angels. Preach unto the Gentiles. This is so plain. You should be able to see this, but you can't see it. Who was preached to the Gentiles? Jesus. Jesus. Bible said God was. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. When Peter went to the house of the Gentiles, uh -huh. he preached God to them. Mm -hmm. That's right. Name Jesus. That's right. That's the Bible. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. It don't need prop it up. No, sir. It don't need fix it up. People just need to be Holy Ghost up. Uh huh. Can I say that? Amen. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Thank you, Jesus. No Holy Ghost, no revelation. Uh huh. Right. Huh? Amen. No Holy Ghost, no understanding. That's right. No Holy Ghost, you got to be in darkness. That's right. You can't come out of darkness. Right. Thank you, Jesus. I feel good up here. Amen. You got to have the Holy Ghost to see this. That's right. Understand this. That's why the blind need the blind. And they both fall in the ditch. Preach of blind people blind. Somebody got to see to navigate these spiritual waters. Huh? And you got to have the Holy Ghost to navigate through it. Huh? He's he the spirit of truth. When he comes, he will guide you into all truth. And the Bible is clear. God was manifest in the flesh. He was justified in the spirit. He was seen of angels. Preached to the Gentiles. Believed on in the world. Received up into glory. The same Paul wrote to the church in Ephesus and said, He that descended uh -huh. is the same also that ascended. Far above the heaven. Not, not another. And the angel told them when they were gazing in the, in the heaven when Jesus ascended, he said, why stand ye gazing in the heaven? That same Jesus, not another, that same one that go away, he coming back. Thank you, Jesus. This thing was reserved for Jesus. Y'all ain't saying that. Amen. But it's a great mystery. You got that Matthew? Read. St. Matthew chapter 11 and verse 25. Those on the couch turn with us. St. Matthew chapter 11 and Begin at verse number 25. Let's see what the Bible has to say. I teach the Bible here. I do not teach philosophy, theology, homiletics, opinions, and doctrines of man. But I teach God's word. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says, Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I may not sin against you. Oh, y'all ain't saying that. Right. Come on, begin to read, Matthew. At that time, Jesus answered and said, I thank thee. O oh, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. Jesus praying. What? Because thou hast hid these things. He did what? Thou hast hid these thou things. Thou hast hid these things from the wise and from the prudent. In other words, the men of his day, my God, false prophets, huh? the, the three main religions in Jesus' day, Pharisee, Sadducee, scribe. The revelation of God was hidden from them. Jesus prayed, I thank thee thou hast hid these things. For they so wise that they don't know who Jesus is. Uh -huh. People so wise, they're so smart, they can't get saved. That's right. I'm telling you, thank you, Jesus. But it takes obedience. One must obey God uh, to receive the things of God. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. I thank thee, O Father, thou hast hid these things from the wise. And from the prudent, and has revealed them to who? Under babe. Revealed them to babe. What is a babe? He's not talking about a little baby, a child. Don't get caught in mind. He's not talking about that. He, a humble person. The Bible says, humble yourself under the mighty hands of God, and he will exalt you in due time. Right. A babe is humble. A spiritual babe. A person coming to God. For not as a revelation and salvation is one that humbled himself. Uh -huh. He revealed it to the humble. Y'all ain't saying that. Right. He didn't reveal anything to Paul till he humbled himself. Uh -huh. Y'all ain't saying that. Right. Paul was persecuting the church. He was a Pharisee. Come on. 
He was a Pharisee. He was of the tribe of Benjamin. He was a Hebrew and touching the law huh, above his equal. But Paul had no revelation of who God was. He thought he did. He only knew the law of the God of his fathers. Thank you, Jesus. What they taught him. But he had no revelation. My God, when Paul met Jesus on the road to Damascus, y'all ain't saying nothing. And he fell to the earth and had that conversation with him. When Paul humbled himself, he said, Lord, what would thou have me to do? That was the beginning. The beginning of knowledge is humility. Huh? The beginning of knowledge is when one will submit to the word of God. And Paul humbled himself. Huh? And then in due time, God revealed to him. Thank you, Jesus. He that exalt himself, the Bible is clear, shall be a base. But he that humbled himself shall be exalted. Am I in the Bible? Come on, begin to read. Verse 26. Even so, Father, for it seemed good in thy sight. What? All things are delivered unto me of my Father. Read. And no man knows. Wait himself. a minute. What did he say? No man. Huh? And no man knoweth what? The Son. But the Father. See, people talk about Jesus, but they don't know him. Mm -hmm. There's not enough talk about the person, but do you know the person? Uh -huh. hmm? That's right. Do you know him? People talk about people all the time, but they don't know him. That's right. They're familiar with him. But do you know him? No, but that boy, you know, oh, you just talking to him. Right. People talk about Jesus, talk about God, but they don't know him. Uh -huh. They have no relationship, they have no revelation. They're just talking. Huh? Thank you, the way people operate. See, I know a billionaire. See, I know him. A lot of people talk about him. A lot of people talk about him, see him. Oh, yeah, he's that and that. But they say, do you know him? Well, I never met him. No, see, that's the difference. I know him. See, that's the difference. You talking about him and I know him are two different things. See, people talk about Jesus, but do you know Jesus? Yeah, I know him. How do you know him? How do you know him? And then it starts stumbling. You got to know Jesus in the fellowship of his suffering. In the power of his resurrection. Uh -huh. How? Almost you said repentance. Baptism in Jesus' name. That's humility. Uh -huh. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Now comes the revelation. Once you get the Holy Ghost, he'll tell you who he is. Right. He told Paul. And Paul telling the world. But folks still don't receive it today. Hallelujah. People got a problem with the baptism in Jesus' name today. Yeah. Look, no Jesus but got a problem with the baptism in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. No Jesus but got a problem with being filled with the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. But, but you know him though. See? To know Jesus is to obey him. Y'all ain't saying that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, read on. And no man knoweth the Son. No man knoweth the Son. Y'all follow the Bible. Listen. This is English. You can read it. No man, those on the couch, stick with me. No man knoweth the Father. The Son, say the Father. Read. Neither knoweth any man the Father, save the Son. No man. Know the Father say the Son. Look at Jesus. Look what Jesus is saying. Don't nobody know me but the Father. <laughs> Look at Jesus saying. Nobody know the Father but me. Now watch this. Here's where you come in. Here's where we come in. Read. And he to whomsoever the Son will reveal. Him. You can only know this by revelation. That's right. uh -huh. If the Son, which is Jesus, do not reveal himself, uncover himself to you or me, you'll walk around. The only thing you'll have, what well, the Bible said Jesus did, the Bible said that it do. But do you know it? Uh -huh. You need to know. Yep. And Jesus said, I will reveal myself. Right. Huh? He did it for Paul. He did it for the apostles. He did it for everybody to walk with him. That's right. So when Paul made a statement in 1 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16, Paul said, listen, there's no controversy about this. 